everybody, and welcome to another fabulous episode of Jody Jean's Kitchen. Today we are going to do something new for me and you. We are going to do beef bourguignon, and I don't know if that's the proper pronunciation, but that's what I'm rolling with today. And we are going to do it in the Instapot, so it won't take three to four hours. And if you know um, how I like to do the quick meals that are easy and fast, this is it. Because we all want to have time with our family or have time to do whatever we want to do. So this one has quite a few steps and I will leave detailed instructions after you see the video. So, and if you have questions, don't hesitate to call me. There are a couple things here that are new um, that I've never used before or seen. So let's get to it. All right, first of all, you start with your Instapot on the saute setting on high. And we're gonna take bacon, whoopsie, my bad. Bacon, and we're gonna cut it into slices, little quarters, and we are going to brown that up. And I'm gonna show you this real time, and the only time that we're gonna take a break, so you believe me that it can be done this easily, is when we go to the cooking time. And of course, you know what happens in the cooking time. We might make a cocktail, or we might not, or you can, you know, spend time with your family and play a game. All right, so I'm gonna brown off the bacon. And when you say bacon, the mascots come running. <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna let that start browning. And a couple of things that are new is this xanthan gum. It is for baking, it is keto friendly. It has seven carbohydrates. For the, all we're gonna use is a teaspoon, and for a tablespoon it has seven. So basically this is a thickening agent. Instead of using flour, you can use it in soups, stews, or anything like that. I have never used it, but like I said, today we're gonna do this together. For the first time, I took three or so recipes and put them together. And, yeah, so we're gonna take all this and brown it. While that's browning, it says it takes five minutes. While that's browning, we're gonna go over here. I did chop up some of the meat, and you want it to be dry, and, and the, you want the pieces to be the same size. I guess that's the main thing. So they cook down the same. And I just use different um, cuts of meat where I made um, some tacos and stuff like that. You can use cheap meat, stew meat, basically whatever you want because we are cooking this down to where it's gonna be fall apart. And if you wanna go with healthy, you can use a leaner cut of meat, but I think that would probably be a little drier than what you want. So save your icky meats or the less desirable cuts, I should say, for your beef bourguignon. So it says two pounds, and I'm guessing this is two pounds. I just grabbed a bag from the restaurant. But the main thing is make sure it's all the same size. All right, now we are going to finish this up really fast. I have dried off my mushrooms, and I don't like to wash mushrooms because they absorb water. So I have taken uh, like a brush and brushed off the little brown bits that were on there that were larger <clears throat> Whoopsie. than the rest of them. And take this, and then we're going to start stirring this up. Now remember, you have to keep stirring this because you want it to brown, and you're going to need these juices from the bacon to brown off your beef that we're gonna do in, in sections. So you got that. Now let's take the mushrooms and chop them up really fast. And I'm gonna quarter. You can use sliced, and this is just one pack of mushrooms. It said 12 ounces, and I'm pretty sure that's what that was. But I don't know if any, how, how many people here that watch have eaten this dish before. It's one of my favorites, and you can take, and you can serve it over riced cauliflower, but for the benefit of 
my roommate and my um, producer today, we are going to do it over jasmine rice, which is one of my favorites. And yes, I will have like a quarter cup. I did celebrate a milestone in my uh, keto journey, and I lost my final pound for my first goal. So then I definitely got to keep on track with cooking good and making sure that I'm eating healthy. Because, you know, you can sit there and eat 14 packs of Oreos and Snickers bars, and every, nobody says anything to you, but once you start on a keto diet, they all think you're going to die. But actually, it is healthy eating. It's not a whole lot of bad stuff for you. Just good stuff. Well, stuff that I, I enjoy thoroughly. All right, so <clears throat> done with that. Now, the bacon is just about crisp where you want it. I'm going to give it a second, second more. Now, I'm going to take the mushrooms. It says, um, put those in there. We're going to, and I have two cups of beef broth. And I am using this, it's a paste. You can get it from any grocery store, whether it be Kroger, whatever. And you just don't want the bouillon cube, basically. And you can use fresh beef base if you want. I think that has a little bit better flavor than some of the others. So now we're gonna start, we're gonna pop this out of here and then we're gonna start cooking up the beef. Now, the main thing with the beef that some people make the big mistake with is they do not let it, they crowd the pan and they don't let it get, you know, crispy enough. So we're going to start browning this. Set this to the side and save it. And we're going to throw in some of these. And like I said, we're going to keep them separate. We might have to take a pause for the for the mascot calls because I think somebody's <laughs> here. <laughs> and there you have that. Just about live TV. Okay, so we're going to do this in, I would say two, because you can fit it in there. Just brown that off. So we're going to take one clove of garlic, whatever that is. One clove of garlic, get it nice and fine. And I wish you could smell it in here. It already tastes good. Smells good, sorry. And if anybody knows me, it knows how hard it is for me to like make a recipe and follow it. You understand that I, that's why I had to make, I had to put three together just to make it to where I think I would like it. And that's, that's kind of how we roll and come up with new recipes for the restaurant. We had uh, my nephew, we got in some lobster meat and we started making lobster rolls and stuff like that. And Everybody took a fit over them. The first day we made them as like a sample, and they're like, so what did you put in there? And I was like, you know, we actually wrote this one down because <laughs> it was really good. All right, so we're browning this off. And then we are going to chop that up. Get your onion. And see, so you can do all of this, the chopping and stuff, while you're browning off your meat. So it, it, it's going to be fast. That's why I didn't want to chop this ahead of time, and then me come back and everybody be like, well, that's just TV magic. It's really not. It's going to be that easy. Because as you're browning, everything you're going to need in here is going to be done. So I'm going to break this onion down kind of thinly. And this, the finer you cut it this way, the easier it is to chop into smaller pieces. And then it won't take you so long. Because you want this, you want it kind of finely diced. Ma the main thing in here is the meat and the mushrooms that are going to be a little larger. So I'm going to come over here with this and get a good dice on it. Watch your fingers. Hold it together like that. And then flip it over. 
And any little bits that you miss off to the side, as you can see, a couple of them pop out. It's much easier to chop those up than it is to go ahead and chop up everything. So we can put that in there, give your meat a stir. Always remember, keep stirring and stirring and stirring. And this is good because this dish, if you were going to make it, I mean, I've literally seen people take hours to make it. And that's why a lot of restaurants don't run it on special. All right. So I'm going to pull out some of this and start browning the other. See how we're doing. Some of them aren't as brown as I'd like them to be, but for the sake of this, we're going to go roll with it. Still, all the edges are done pretty much the same. There you go. Or dump these in and spread them around. And watch your face when you do that. Sometimes it splashes up on you. All right. So that's the last bit of browning. We're going to need a cup and a half of wine. And I'm going to use this Pinot that I had laying around from the, the lamb that I cooked. And yes, I'm actually measuring this part. So... I don't have a half a cup, but it's close enough. And then we're gonna brown this off. While I finish browning this off and lock, locking up the mascots, <laughs> we'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> Everyone's doing it. Follow your neighborhood network on social media. See news live as it happens. See more local content. Your neighborhood network proudly serving Martinsville and Henry County. Are you looking for great food and entertainment? Ippy's Restaurant is the place to be. We have been serving local communities since 1919 with made from scratch entrees and specialty dishes like our famous Oyster Rockefeller, smoked prime rib and hand carved filet mignon. We have a great selection of menu items that are all made to order for your everyday dining or special occasions. We also offer private rooms, catering services and have a wonderful assortment of local bands that play in the lounge. Ippy's Restaurant and Lounge, 1760 North Main Street, Rocky Mountain. Jody's Kitchen is brought to you in part by the Harvester Performance Center. World-class entertainment year-round. Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mount. Visit harvester-music.com. Welcome back, everybody, from our little, uh, I haven't done anything since we took a break. We had to rowl in the uh, mascots. They got a little cray-cray because the, the trash men were here. And you know how the dogs like the trash men. So we are on the last bit of meat, and it's still browning, so only a few minutes went by. And we are about to pull this out and go on to the next step. So I have one teaspoon of xanthan gum and I hope that's how you pronounce that I'm not really positive never used it before but like I said we're learning all this together today and so we'll see how good it is all right now we're going to start browning our onions and mushrooms and cooking them down and I'll try not to 
splash this all over the camera. All right, so I basically have, this is a very large onion, so I only used half of it because I think most onions are gonna be a little bit smaller than the ones that we have at the restaurant. So I'm gonna go in here with one clove of garlic minced up and all this onion right in there and let it cook down just a couple minutes and then we're gonna add in the mushrooms. And as you, know, as you can tell so far, we haven't really put any seasoning in here. So we're gonna like do this together. I know the beef base has some seasoning, but who knows? And this is cooking pretty good. Get around here, let that cook for a minute or two. While that's cooking, we are going to get our bay leaf out. It's gonna go in there. That smells good. And then our thyme. And I'm gonna use, I like to use the, the fresh, if you can find it, the fresh thyme, because it's kind of like woodsy, but then you can just pull it out. And the bay leaf, because you definitely don't want to eat that. But like you see, it kind of all stays together when you got the bay leaf right there. So we're going to let the onions cook. And mind you, we're still on real time. I mean, cooking time's total probably like 14 minutes so far. And by the time we zip this pot up, it'll probably be... 15 minutes. So the saute mesh thing went off. So we're going to do that again. Don't know why that did that. But keep an eye out for that in case it happens to you. So we're going to saute on the onions. It's back on. Add the mushrooms. 12 ounces. And then we're going to take this xanthan gum. And it said to put it in there in one of the recipes. But... And it said pull everything out of the pot and then put it back in the pot. And I think that's just a whole lot of doing that. So I heated up the olive oil a little bit in the microwave just for like 30 seconds. And then I'm just going to mix it right here instead of pulling everything in and out of the pot. Because I don't, I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense over and over again. And that looks, can you see that? Not really sure what that's going to do, but I guess it's going to... Make the same thing happen that flour does without the carbohydrates. And we'll see how that works out. So we're going to saute this up for a few. Still doing good on our time. We're only like 15 minutes. Family's still around. You know, what, you don't have anything else to do except for put this stuff together. All right. Cup and a half of red wine. The xanthan gum. We're about to add all this stuff in here. Keep stirring this up. Let it saute down. And if it gets a little dry, it's all right. We're going to let it cook. All right, so let's add the wine in. So that was a cup and then a half. And then we're going to add in this mixture of the xanthan gum stuff. Make sure you get all of it because we only put a teaspoon in there. So evidently that little bit really makes a difference. And I actually measured that because, you know, it's the first time. So then we're going to do two tablespoons of tomato paste. And give it a good stir and let it cook just for a second. And as you can see it all coming together. Doesn't have to be perfect, but as you, that is actually getting thicker, which is a little scary, but that stuff works. Not really sure what it's made of, but it has no fat, 30 calories, and seven carbs. So that's a little scary, but it says you can bake with it. Got it at Kroger, $14 or $12. All right, so now it is time to throw it all together. And this is where the magic happens. Gonna put our, I'm gonna put the thyme in the bottom and the bay leaf so the bacon goes on top of it. And then we're gonna add in the beef base. 
and it got it all mixed up, so I'm gonna put it back in there. I'm gonna put the bacon back in there. Well, actually, I'm gonna put the meat in there and then put the bacon on top. Just like that. And sprinkle that over there. Sorry about that. And there you go. It's about half the way full. Everything's in there. And we are going to seal this up. That was approximately 18 minutes of preparation, real time. So we're gonna seal this up for 30 minutes on high. And then when we come back, we're going to cook some jasmine rice and put it all together. So we'll see you in just a few. Thank you so much. Jody's Kitchen is brought to you in part by the Harvester Performance Center. World-class entertainment year-round. Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mount. Visit harvester-music.com. Are you tired of your car looking like this? You need to call Kevin's Collision Center. With over 35 years of auto repair service, Kevin's Collision Center can get you back to factory specs. Some insurance companies may want you to visit their drive-in claim center before having your car repaired, or you can leave your car at Kevin's Collision Center and ask the insurance company inspect the car here. We help you navigate your auto body claim with the insurance company. When everything is at the right place, you can't go wrong. Kevin's Collision Center 8985 Philpot Highway, Martinsville, Virginia 276 632 0123. You don't have to leave this place the way that you came. You will leave here soaked and saturated and burning with the presence of God. I believe this is the hour of Jesus the Evangelist. We have not seen him like this since the 70s. There's a new breed of evangelists. They're not looking for a stage. They only want Jesus. And now we come to God and we meet the creator of heaven and earth and we meet Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It's an experience you'll never forget. That's why when he touches you, you've got to tell everybody about it. You've got to shout it from the rooftop. You've got to shout it from the mountaintop. I met him, I met him, I met him. I want to tell you about Jesus. I want to tell you about it. Westover Christian Academy, fully accredited by ACSI and Advanced Ed, is located in Danville, Virginia, and offers classes from K-2 through 12th grade, providing excellence in education. What is excellence in education? It's teaching and learning. It's being safe and secure. It's knowing the God who gives us a hope and a future. It's having opportunities to grow and serve and lead. It's achieving in academics, athletics, and fine arts. WCA has partnered with families for over 40 years to provide a learning experience that is designed to support children to grow academically, spiritually, socially, and physically. Come discover the difference of Westover Christian Academy. Welcome back to the show, and we are going to finish up this beef bourguignon, and hopefully everything is going to turn out well. I did some quick five-minute rice to see how that would work, and we're going to plate it up here. And as you can tell, I dressed it up just a little bit 
with some butter and stuff and a little bit of salt because you don't want to put the beef bourguignon on the on just plain old rice so we're gonna step over here and give our little mascot a bone come here Roscoe come here be a good boy go do something there you go buddy <laughs> so <laughs> they're very excited because it's almost time to eat so we are going to open this up and see how how it's going to turn out and it looks delicious wow it's actually thick that stuff worked i know i sound a little shocked but um you want to taste it because we have remember we haven't added in a whole lot of salt and pepper and look that's just falling apart i'm sure it's going to be hot it needs a little salt Definitely. A little salt, a little pepper, but the consistency, I'm very impressed with the xanthan gum. And remember, we only used a teaspoon of it, put in there. But we didn't put too much salt and pepper in there, so I'm gonna put salt and pepper both in there. Remember our little pepper trick, if you grind them together, it just comes out nice and easy. So we're gonna stir that around. I'm going to find the bay leaf and the thyme and get rid of it. Of course, the, the dog knows it's feeding time. There's that. Make, always remember to take that out because I don't know if you've ever chewed into a piece of bay leaf, but this is not good. All right. So we're going to come over here and you can see the little pieces of bacon and the mushrooms and everything. I'm going to need a little juice, I think. Start going here. Oh, yummy. Definitely looks good. And I am so impressed that we have some thickness in this from that stuff. It's amazing. All right, let me try a mushroom. I know it's going to be hot. Mmm. That is really quite good. And I want y'all to notice the meat. It's just falling apart. It's so tender. I mean, you, I guess you could do this with, make like with lamb too. I mean, I love lamb, so that'd be perfect. But just look at how it's falling apart. It's just so good. Mm. Well, for the first time dish for all of us here, and of course I adapted this recipe for many of them, I'm going to have it on there for y'all to copy and try at home because it is absolutely wonderful and easy to do. And like I said, if you don't want to put it on rice and you want to do the keto method, you can go ahead and put it on rice cauliflower or really anything. Those, um, no, those uh, cacti noodle that I have that I've used before in the show, all of them will work. But thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to Jody Jean's Kitchen. And look out on our Facebook page and our website for our 100-year anniversary deals that we're going to do and the end-of-the-year party because the, it should be sometime in November. But thank you so much for all your questions and shout-outs. I do appreciate it, and I hope that in some way, shape, or form that I have helped you have um, healthy meals for your family at home. So once again, thank you, and we'll see you next time on Jody Jean's Kitchen.